Hey everyone, welcome to our new Writeback video series. Each week we're going to dive into a new use case for the Writeback extension in ClickSense. Today we're looking at fuzzy matching and mapping tables, so let's get started. In Click, we often try to associate data from two systems using a common field, but what if no link exists? Here's an example. My account IDs in Salesforce are different to my account IDs in SAP but I need to link these data sets to create a full customer 360 view. We've created a fuzzy matching process in the Click script. So Click does its best to try and link our CRM data in green to our ERP data in amber here. And we'll use the write back extension to come in and confirm or reject the suggested matches. We have 178 unconfirmed matches to work through. So Click has suggested matches for these half dozen. I can open the write back extension. I can confirm that these matches are correct and hit save. So our edits are written back to a SQL database and loaded back into our Click data model in real time. Here we have two records that were not auto matched, but I can see that they are in fact the same company. I can map the SAP code onto the CRM record and hit save. So we're effectively constructing a mapping table in the background to bridge our two data sources. Another great use case is maintaining mapping tables. So I have a US state names uh, from different systems and I need them all standardized. Our Click app tells us that there's six unmapped values. So we can select one of the source values that needs to be mapped. We can enter how this value should appear in our reporting and we can hit save. So there's no maintaining of mapping tables in Excel and no more unmapped data errors in our production reports. So what about maintaining a list or a menu directly in my Click app? We commonly do this in Click to create drop-down menus. So here I'm looking at a, li a list of currency pairs. Um, I can add a new pair by simply clicking on the placeholder row at the bottom. I can add a new value and then hit save. So there you have three mapping table use cases for the write back extension. Mapping tables to bridge two data sources, mapping tables to clean up a field like state names, and then mapping tables to maintain a list or a menu. So that completes the first video in this series. Look out for our next clip where we'll dive into transaction matching, a great powerful use case for banking and finance. Thanks for watching.